Well, hello <clears throat> from beautiful Audrain County, Missouri. I'm Sheriff Matt Oller, and uh, gonna give you a first shot today. Uh, I went into Graff's uh, a couple of days ago, and uh, the boys down there know me, and they know that I cannot uh, refuse a nice 357 Magnum lever action rifle. So uh, they, they immediately said, hey, we got something in the back we want you to see. We set it back for you. Uh, our distributor called, said, hey, we've got this. Do you want it? We immediately thought of you and told them to go ahead and send it to us. And it's the new Marlin, made by Ruger, 357 Magnum, model 1894. Now, uh, everybody knows, it's kind of windy. I'm going to set a box of ammo on this, but... Uh, everybody knows that I uh, I like the Rossi 357 Magnum rifle. Um, it just carries well. It's it's a nice. Uh, I've had really good luck with them, but I have wanted to get my hands on a Marlin Model 1894. Uh, but you know, Marlins went through uh, several iterations, I guess, or several uh, true ownership uh, changes over the last uh, several years it was marlin and then remington uh they called them the remlin um i don't have a remlin gun uh my all of my marlin guns are pre-remington but then uh, the latest iteration is marlin was bought by ruger and i've heard pretty good stuff but i've you know i've not seen uh, a marlin by ruger uh, anywhere in any of my local gun shops so uh these uh, especially these 1894s uh, in 357 Magnum, I, I, there, there's some 44 Magnum stuff out there that uh, that can be had, but the 357 Magnum always seemed uh, a little more scarce. The availability was pretty sketchy, so uh, I jumped at the opportunity and bought it, uh, hoping that I didn't make a mistake. Um, so I kind of compared it a little bit to uh, my 16-inch Rossi. This is uh, this this Marlin gun is actually an 18 inch gun, um, which uh, 18 is a pretty good length, I think. Uh, it's a nice it's a nice combination. Uh, it, uh, my, one of my Rossies is 20 inch, and it's just a little long. Uh, doesn't swing quite as quick. Harder to get in and out of a pickup or a car. Uh, my, I really like the 16 inch, which I take with me almost everywhere I go, but, uh, I've messed with this thing for, I didn't shoot it, but I messed with it for about an hour before uh, I decided to make this video and the gun, the gun points nice. It swings nice. Uh, I've put it in and out of my vehicle. It seems to be pretty good. Um, one of the things that I immediately noticed, which I appreciate is, uh, they're, they're sling swivels from the factory on this rifle. Um, I do enjoy a sling on a rifle, so this will probably wind up wearing a sling. On my 20 inch Rossi, I had to go buy the magazine tube clamps uh, stud for the front and then drill uh, for a, a screw in stud in the back. And it just makes it much easier when they're installed at the factory. And, and you know, the factory is. Uh, apparently thinking that uh, you probably ought to have a swivel on a rifle or a, a sling on a rifle, which I agree with. Um, this thing is is true to, to Marlin form, pretty much. Uh, it's got the hooded uh, front sight, and it's got the brass bead, which is which is very nice. Uh, the sights are semi buckhorn, um, and they they point well. Um, it's got the fold down, so you can fold that down where the Rossi does not. Uh, it is drilled and tapped for an optic. Now, I don't know that I would ever put an optic on a 357 Magnum rifle, but uh, there are folks out there that probably would. Um, as far as the action goes, um, by the way, it came with a, with a chamber flag, which is kind of cool. Um, as far as the action goes, it's, it's not as smooth as my R92s, but they have a lot of rounds through them. This gun's brand new. So I'm sure it'll slick up uh, as as I use it. Um, I'll be interested because I've not loaded this gun, I've not shot it. So uh, you guys are going to get to see this for the first time. But I'll be interested how the loading gate, how easy it is to get rounds into. 
Um, I know the Rossi is not easy at all, uh, and it's it's kind of sharp, uh, but they've they've beveled the edge uh, on this one, so the edge is very nice and smooth, not sharp at all. Um, and and I know I've said this before, this this screw here where the lever attaches doesn't doesn't make it real comfortable for me in my hand. It's just kind of a a, a, a knot there that I. I don't know, it just feels weird. Uh, it does not feel as comfortable in my hand as the 92 model, but um, we'll see. Uh, it's not uncomfortable, it's just, it, it has a weird feel, something I'm not used to. And you gotta keep in mind, these gun reviews, 95% uh, of this stuff is personal preference. Um, it's, it's what a person prefers. And I just prefer uh, not to have uh, that, that ear right there that the lever attaches to, but neither here nor there. Um, it does have the cross bolt safety uh, that's Marlin's been doing for the last, I don't know, however many years. One of you guys will probably know the year that that started. I do not, but um, this is again, my opinion, uh, a safety, a manual safety of any sort on a lever gun is not uh, anything that should ever have happened. Uh, the half cock safety is 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 a true safety. It's a good safety. You just got to use it. So, um, that being said, I am going to sit down. Uh, I'm at about. I know you can't see the target, but we'll look at it here in a minute. Um, I'm about 40 to 45 yards. Um, really, all I want to do is shoot this thing and make sure it functions properly. Make sure the sights are somewhere close. Uh, as time allows, I will. Uh, make fine adjustments to the sights for me, but uh, right now I'm just kind of excited to check uh, the function of the rifle. So that being said, I'm going to put my my canine bag up here to rest on, and we're going to shoot this thing and see if it functions like it should. Um, the other thing I did, I did look up the specs. So this rifle at 18 inches weighs um, 6.1 pounds, I think, this 18-inch gun. My 16-inch Rossi is 5.8, I believe. 5.8 or 5.9. Um, so, I mean, there's a few ounces difference. Not enough to, probably not enough to make any sort of real difference. So... Um, and the fit and finish, uh, the wood is nicely molded here. There's no lips anywhere. Um, the barrel band is nice and smooth. There's no, uh, and, and the, the fore end is kind of beveled into that, that barrel band. So it is, uh, I mean, I have not found any, I've run my hands across it other than the hammer spur, obviously. Uh, no sharp edges. Uh, the trigger actually breaks pretty good uh, for being a lever gun. It, it's pretty nice uh, compared to a lot of Marlin lever guns. Like I had a 336 one time that had a terrible uh, trigger pull, but this one is pretty nice. So anyway, let's, if I can find my ears and not my glasses. So let's load it up and See what happens. Oh, see, that was nice. That loaded nicely. So I got uh, got six in there. I don't know. I didn't look at the capacity. Um, I would have thought it would have held more than six, but it seemed. Oh, there we go. Must have just been catching on something. I was thinking we'd be in the eight neighborhood, and there's eight. So we'll stop there. So instead of turning the camera where you can see the target, I figured we would leave the camera pointed this direction. Uh, that way you can see uh, see the function of the rifle, hopefully. 
drop that down a little bit. Let's see if we can get you guys a clear view of the the action. Well, that went off without a hitch. Flawless. Um, I can't see the bullet holes in a target. We've got a bad guy target set up down there, but um, we will walk down and take a peek. So we were shooting uh, Federal Red Box 158 grain uh, soft points, which is typically what I run in my rifles, so um, they seem to function pretty good, and they're a fairly heavy bullet. Seem to do pretty well. All right, so I was aiming for the gun, so we hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, where's number eight? It's got to be in there somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I know I didn't miss the entire target, so one of these must have a another cut, or there's three in there instead of two. I'm not sure, but um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I don't see number eight, so it's got to be got to be there, or, or one of these other holes that that one there might be two, maybe. Looks like it's got a, a little bit of a uh, clover leaf there, but um, so I'll have to tune it up a little bit. It's shooting about for me about an inch low at about 50 yards and probably half inch to the right. So, all in all, I'm pretty pleased. Um, I'll probably load it up and shoot it again and run that sight up just a hair that rear sight and then the windage we'll take care of on a different day whenever I can actually sit down and uh, put a target a decent target out at a hundred and uh, because quite honestly 357 Magnum um, is be a pretty solid hundred yard gun uh, with the right load but um, I'm gonna load this up again and I think this time I'll just kind of shoot offhand. I want to elevate this sight a little bit though. All right. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna shoot six. Six. All right. Here we go. Well, we hit a little bit of a snag with that last one. It seemed like it kind of hung up a little bit, and that could have been could have been me uh, with a little bit of short stroke, but. Anyway, I'm going to walk down and take a look at that target, but uh, I hope you guys, let me raise the camera up a little bit, um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this review. I've not seen a lot of reviews on the, on the Ruger Marlins, so uh, this 1894, uh, I think is going to wind up, at least for the time being, until I find something I don't like. It's probably going to wind up being my new carrying around gun. Um, like I said, I really like my 16 inch Rossi, but uh, this gun uh, for extra two inches of barrel, probably an extra couple of rounds because you got an 18 inch magazine tube, or at least an extra round. Um, 
and the, the, the factory sling swivels, the sights are, are good. Um, this may turn out to be uh, a decent compromise between the 20 inch and the 16 inch for me. So, uh, so far I'm pretty happy. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The Marlin by Ruger 1894 Classic in 357 Magnum. Be safe. Have a nice day.